What's up guys, my name's Dave, and I wanna take you on a trip today to meet my buddy John Weeks. He has a huge pinball collection, over 500 vintage and modern pinball machines. Hello, Porter? Like, what is this guy thinking? Well, let me tell you what he's thinking. He has a dream of launching the world's largest museum of pinball in Banning, California, about an hour outside of LA or Orange County. And he's roped me into this thing, and we need your help. In order to see this dream come to reality, we've got you here on the Kickstarter page wanting to ask you for some contributions, and it is for a great cause. This is a nonprofit organization, and I want to tell you all about it and let John share his heart, his passion, his dream with you today. And ultimately, we want to give you a tour of the facility. So buckle up, and let's go meet John. Are you kidding me? Seriously, who does this? Five storage units full of pinball machines. John Weeks. David. What's up, buddy? So excited. <laughs> it's good to Thank see you. Thank you. This Thanks is for coming. Incredible. Yes. Thank Dude, you. I cannot believe this. A little excessive, I'd say. It's a little excessive, a little crazy. And when did you get into pinballs? It was about 35 years ago, and uh, I started off with three arcades. Really? Yes. Wow, that's like the 70s, huh? The 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Now, when did you start collecting this, like all of these pinball machines? Did you start back then, or? This, these, this collection started in 1996. Okay. I got one fell swoop of 25 pinball machines. All one time? One time. That's crazy. Brought them back, put them in my house, and played them. Wow, okay, so now 500 machines, now mm -hmm. vintage and modern, mostly mm -hmm. pinball machines, some are older arcade games Correct. too. Yes. And so what's the dream? What are, you, what are you trying to do here? My dream is to make the largest, the world's largest pinball and arcade museum where people can come, play the games, interact with them, learn about the history of pinball and arcade games, the inner workings of them, spend the whole day with the family, and pass this great game onto the next generation. That's really what it's all about. I mean, yes. you love pinball. I love it. It's yeah. the greatest. That's cool. Yeah. So you got 18 acres. 18 acres. That I've never seen before. You've never seen it. That you're going to set aside mm -hmm. for the Museum of Pinball. For the whole museum. All right. So can we go check it out? Let's go. Let's all go right. check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So is this it? This is it, David. This is the front part of the museum. Uh, half of the museum is here, about 20,000 square feet. Right? What an incredible entrance. That is killer, like toe retro. Yeah. And now we're coming into the parking area. This is the parking area. All of this space? Yep. No way. That's it. So people can park back there, yep. walk in the back entrance. Okay. Here's now what's the, this back here? Okay, this is the future park. Uh, this Well, it's actually a park already, but this is where we're going to put the, the trailers and the RV camping. So within walking distance of the museum and, and the arcade, we'll have camping and uh, we'll have vintage trailers that you can check into. Back here will be one of the repair shops for refurbishing the pinball machines. This little area here. So you can have an entrance in the front, entrance in the, in the back. Exactly. Can we go inside, check it out? Let's go check it out. No way. Yep. <laughs> Seriously? This is it. No, this is part of it. Is this all of it? Not all of it. This is part of it. Wow. How many, like, how many square feet is this? This is about 18,000. And how many pinball machines would fit in this area? I would think about 200. 200, 200 machines. 200 to 250. Now, what are you thinking about doing in this room? In this room, we need to paint the ceiling black, remove some of the lighting, and put in some uh, track lighting. Okay. And do some floor treatments. Okay. Yeah. And of course, decorating the walls, putting in maybe some memorabilia, yes. of course. Yes. Incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, so is this? Let's go this. Is the hallway? Yes. This is the hallway. This leads to the other room, the other pinball room, and this will also lead to the snack bar. Okay. And the front entrance. This will be the entrance, the main entrance right here. Oh, this this needs a little bit of work. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why we're obviously doing this. Yes, correct. But this is great. People come in the front entrance. That was a great view. We love the architecture out front. Mm -hmm. And then people come in here, they see the specials that are up on the board or right. whatever's happening, right. membership, mm -hmm. and check in with the individual, pay. Right. And, what is this? Yeah, this here, this leads to the snack bar area. And this is where we'll be serving up the refreshments. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yep. What a perfect size. 
Yep, and this room doesn't need too much work, really. I mean, the ceiling's pretty much there. The flooring's pretty good. Place a few tiles, yeah. maybe put in some lighting. Um, we've got some work to do uh, here. We'll have all the drink and refreshments here. Oh, okay, I can envision like yeah. the, the, the yeah. counter running yeah. the full length. Mm -hmm. Over here would be the snack bar counter. We'd have to build that, of course. Here we go. This is the main floor. No way. Are you <laughs> kidding me? No. I, my mind keeps getting blown. When we drive up and uh -huh. I see 18 acres, I'm, my mind's blown away. Yeah, yeah. When I see this? Yeah, this is the main floor. How many machines would fit in here? Uh, 350 machines would fit in here. No way. Yeah. Actually, more than that. Maybe maybe close to 400 if you cramp them. This we want to leave some is space. Huge. Yeah. I can, I can just, I can see it already. Mm -hmm. People just, packed in here, playing pinball, excited, yeah. tournaments, birthday parties, company experience, company uh, corporate parties. experiences. Yeah, it'd be great. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you planning to do in here, in terms of in here, using contributions? We need to take the ceiling out and again, paint it black in the, in the area, open it up. Okay. Re reconfigure some HVAC vents. The air conditioning's all here. We just gotta change the vent, uh, vents around a little bit. Got to make sure this whole place is air conditioned because right. obviously with all the machines it'll get warm. Yeah, and um, we got to do some lighting treatments in here that are not, you know, that work with the pinballs. So and what about the there. floor? The floor needs to be fixed because it's not damper. A lot of noise can come from the floor. Okay, so, so got to come up with a solution, solution on that. Solution for the floor. Yeah. And then it looks like you, there's a huge room over here. Yep, that's another VIP room. That's a big one. Yep. Big party could go on there. Well, you've you've seen the the whole place now. It's. 18 acres, 40,000 square feet in this particular building, specifically set aside for the Museum of Pinball. And I know your heart, John, is to pass on pinball to the next generation, help people savor it. And that's why we're here. We need your support, we need your help. You see how much money we need to raise in 30 days. And the way that Kickstarter works is that if we don't raise that full amount in a one month period of time, your credit card's not charged, we don't get a dime, and ultimately the Museum of Pinball won't open. And so we're relying on you. John, he's all in. He's leveraged his financial uh, situation in order to purchase this facility so that the lease won't have to go up. We've heard of other pinball museums and, and facilities going away because their lease goes away and, and all of a sudden they're stuck. They raise the rent. They raise the rent, yeah. Not the situation here. John owns the facility, but he's all in. He doesn't have the, the, the money to restore this place, to refurbish it. And so that's why we're coming to you people that love pinball and are passionate about pinball. All you gotta do is click on the upper right hand corner where it says become a backer and then choose your reward. We've done the best that we can to provide some rewards that would be interesting and enticing to you. And so pick one of those and then make your contribution. And ultimately, we would love for you to spread the word. This is something that your friends, your family, people that are into pinball need to hear about. They wanna support this, we know they do. You're generous and so are your friends. So go ahead, make the contribution and help the dream of opening the world's largest museum of pinball come into reality. Thank you so much.